Locked. All right. Amazing monster. Oh, that was I heard about Halloween. Oh, we're recording. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the show. Uh, we decided to do um, continue on with the questions, but we're actually taking a um, a question that someone from our audience sent in. Uh, I got a bunch of them, so I'm just going to pick one randomly. Yeah, we really appreciate the help because we can't keep thinking of all these questions. So if you yeah. want to comment below, let us know. Comment yeah. below or email us at uh, ninjas at sundaycool.com and send us a question that you would like read off on the podcast show thing that we do. And we'll do it. So random one... There. Okay. Today's question. Should we outlaw wheelchairs? What? <laughs> That's the question? That's the question. Someone sent that in? Yep. Should okay, we yeah. outlaw wheelchairs? No! Oh. No! No! That's who, ridiculous. Who are you yelling at? Just the person. Oh. It's just like, that's just an outra- outrageous yeah. thing to say. Yeah. Um, yeah no. I actually... No, we should not because people... With wheelchairs, typically need wheelchairs. Yeah. Even if you don't need a wheelchair, they're still fun to roll around yeah. in. I don't true. want that. I want the option. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Um, Lily? No. So we're all at the consensus that- You're doubling down on the no? That's a hard no. Okay. That we should not outlaw wheelchairs. Yeah, of course. On with the show. Well- <laughs> Did I say ninja? I meant- Butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Just kidding. That was for comedic value. <laughs> <laughs> That's comedy. 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 It's the most comedic Make thing me. to do. We're full of laughs and full <laughs> of jokes. <laughs> Watch <laughs> out. We're some pretty good looking blokes. Folks. Oh, oh, blokes. Well. Folks. <laughs> <laughs> Those both rhymed. Hey, we're guys. Both correct. Welcome, uh, Lily. Welcome back. Thank you. My very pregnant wife who's yes. giving birth very soon. Is this yes. the first time you've done back-to-back episodes? Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Our first back-to-back guest. Wow. That makes me special. Well, yeah. We yeah. just had no one replied. Everyone else. <laughs> we invited so many other people. Yeah, literally anyone. We just we stopped a guy on the way in here. Like, yeah. hey, do you want to be on our podcast? It's decently successful and he and says like, i have to put my hand in a blender but or else i would that sounds like a lot of <laughs> yeah. fun but i'm gonna do do this miserable thing over so here. we're so glad lily's back yes. on the podcast yeah watch it <laughs> oh, we're, we're super excited we're yeah. it's it's a, it's a, it's almost thanksgiving right around the corner family time bunch of food what are you guys' mm. favorite thanksgiving food stuffing baby stuffing but people can mess up stuffing with celery no. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Yes. No, With belongs. big chunks of celery, it's disgusting. It belongs. Stuffing it is bread. That's it. And sausage. <laughs> the, sausage. See, that's that's the thing I've never yeah. experienced until I went to your guys' Thanksgiving down here is sausage you inside. That is not normal. That's yeah, weird. It's not. That is never not normal, normal for me. <laughs> That I, is very I, normal for you. I've never it's, had that, but I need to. Yeah, it's fantastic. It was very good, but it was just, yeah. it just threw me off. I'm just I I just love bread. Yeah. Love that stovetop Josh stuff. Josh isn't a veggie person like no. you. No. Yeah. What is your, what do you like when you think it's Thanksgiving food? What are you most excited for? I like cranberry sauce out of the can Blech. with the ridges. I didn't try cranberry <laughs> sauce until recently as well with Thanksgiving foods, and that's that is delicious. It's so good. Yeah. Why do they call it sauce when it's literally just jello? <laughs> you don't, you're you, supposed to mush them. Yeah, you mush it down real way, nice. It comes out like a jello. I like it in that. We don't, in need, that that that. <laughs> we don't need jello noise. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I like it when I cut it, I cut it in the circle so I don't mush it. And I keep it in the circle square. Homemade Ooh. cranberry sauce is the best. 100%. It's oh, yeah. so good. Never it's had so it. So stinking good. That on, you know, any type, even dipping it in everything. That's, yeah. that's the thing. I didn't try that until I was an adult. And it's so, I'm so excited. Yeah. I can't wait. I, I'm, th- I'm, th- I'm thrilled to have some Thanksgiving food next week. Yeah. 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 But I'm also ready for Christmas. Are you mm. coming to our house? Yeah, we have no other option down here. So um, oh, it's kind of okay. like it's kind of like Lily being our guest on the podcast. Today. It's just like I have no other options. You guys, uh, no. Yeah, I I, I love the fact because I, when I moved down here, like uh, we had no family, we had uh, really no friends. We just hoped that we would make some, and uh, well, we didn't. We weren't really friends. 
we knew of each other. I we thought, liked I each we other. Friends. Yeah, that's true. I guess we were. <laughs> uh, but but then when you guys have you ever since we've been down here for the, like this will be our fourth time. Yeah, yeah, it'll be nuts. It'll be super cool. Be yeah, have Thanksgiving with you guys. We're gonna have great. a Christmas baby. That's yeah. true. Yeah, man, literally in between Thanksgiving and Christmas, right in the middle, you guys are gonna be having a baby. Yeah, are you, are you ready? Are you excited? No, I'm excited, but we're not ready. We're not ready. You're literally all. double. This is the first and only time you'll be able to like, unless you have twins or something. You're doubling the amount of babies you have right now. <gasps> yeah, you're doubling it. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So, what are your like? What are your biggest? Uh, what is what's giving you the most anxiety about being a parent? I have to build kid? a room. Yeah, he has to build a whole an room. room. I yeah. have to build. And, out of a garage. And this is the thing. You just showed me a picture of a dresser you were working on. Entertainment Entertainment. Yeah, yeah, an entertainment center. That's even worse. And I was like, you have so much stuff to be doing. You're well, working no, on an entertainment center. It's, it's called productive procrastination. Yep. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. It seems like a priority thing here. Would you? Would everyone just be quiet for ten <laughs> seconds and just understand my mindset? We've only been talking about it for ten seconds. This building a room is such an undertaking of like literally converting a garage into a place where my baby is going to live. Yeah. It's a big undertaking. Yeah, and I'm too cheap to hire someone to do it. Mm-hmm. Well, one because it's really expensive. Um, but for me to get mo- motivated and um. Uh, what's the word? Um, inspired. Inspired. Ooh. You've got to start working something. on it. I, got, I, I work on small stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I didn't know that you should have verbalized that. I me. told you. That's why I was doing that. Because <laughs> I'm like, you said, what are you going to do this week? And I said, I'm going to uh, build this entertainment center. And you're like, what about the room? <laughs> I said, well, this is going to help me get motivated to build something bigger. That's That makes total sense. Because if I have like, a, if I'm cooking for like a big meal on Saturday or something like that. You eat a bowl of cereal. Yeah, exactly. All day long. I just I just get like literally just a tote and I just keep eating it. <laughs> I get so excited. But like, but no, for real, like all throughout the week, I do cook. I, I, I'm thinking about it now. I do plan out my meals a little bit better. So yeah. like I can get in the rhythm of it. Yeah. So that makes total sense. Yeah. I'm excited to work on it because it'll be. I want us to have a whole work day at your place. That'd be super yeah. fun. Maybe a work week. Ooh, Ooh, that'd be fun. We'll ask, hey, Dad, can we take off a week to build your granddaughter's Ooh. nursery? Oh, that's a good... See, that's a, see that yeah. would have never worked with anybody else. Mm-hmm. It's because it's like, oh, so you so you hate your granddaughter? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh that, doesn't, that doesn't look good, yes. Dad. For those of you who are the first time viewers, my dad is all of our bosses. Yeah. yeah. But Boss. also, now because we're vocalizing Boss it now, side. that whole plan... Now it's not just us against him, against him not letting us do a full week of work at your house. Yeah. It's a whole community online. You guys, Guys, please comment. Hey, Steve Hooper, (laughs) we love you. This is what you really, this is, say these exact words. Hey, Steve Hooper, we love you, but can you give Andy, Andrew, Josh, maybe Taylor. Dalton. Dalton. And uh, any other um, uh, able-bodied people. Yeah. To give us a week off in between now and December 19th to build out your granddaughter's nursery. Uh, we'll put that in the, uh, the description so you can just copy and paste. <laughs> yeah. I legit will. We'll yeah. have it in there. So, yeah. Um, and you, and you, on YouTube. you know what he's going to say? He'll be like, you can do it as long as you make a viral video out of it. I don't care. We'll do that. We'll do a <laughs> podcast in viral. the construction zone. Ooh, dude, let's do that. All right. That yeah. would be so much fun. We'll do it. We're doing it. Perfect. The, our nursery is Pride and Prejudice themed because mm, we're having another little what? girl. Her name is Jane, like Jane Bennett or Jane Austen. Between me and Lily, who do you think is the pride and the prejudice? Okay. Um, pride? <laughs> Are we thinking of like in the... I'm an Elizabeth Bennett guaranteed. No, I'm See, talking about the words. And, when I hear pride and prejudice, I hear negative things. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So yeah. prideful? Uh, I would say the Uh-oh. most prideful. I'm going to... I'm, this is so... You're a little scared. Is the, yeah. <laughs> they're both negative. I'll say prideful here only because nice. you have the most fame. And so you're most nice. likely to deal with pride probably. Mm-hmm. And um, pride is just because you just are so... Anti. Uh, no, you're you're very sure in what you believe in, and so I think people can misconstrue that for prejudice or something. I yeah, don't know. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and that's my safe <laughs> answers to a very hard question. <laughs> also about a movie that I've never seen. What? So what? yeah, but I will have to watch it. If you are, if we've talked about, if it before. it's going to be a part of Jane's life, I will have to. I will have to yeah. watch it. Yeah, it's well, part of everyone's life that you care about. Have Kelsey watch it too. She'll love it. I don't know if she's watching or not. I'll, yeah, we'll have to. We'll have to see. When That'd you be, say the room is themed on the movie, what does that mean? Like, what's it going to look like? Old English. Yeah. Cottage vibe. That is so cool. Yeah. yeah. It'll I have like that. crown molding and like. We'll display a picture of our living room right here. 
<laughs> and that's the kind of vibe we have. Yeah, but it'll be more like, because we have very dramatic theatrical themes all throughout the house. Mm. What do we call it? Eclectic maximalism. Josh just is running through his house just... <laughs> <laughs> I want to put that there. <laughs> and that there. <laughs> Feng shui. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eclectic hers, maximalist yeah. is the, I guess there's a thing that's called so eclectic maximalist. And that's. But ours has, because sometimes that can mean like orange and pink and yellow and weird yeah. blob furniture. Ours is more like Victorian Gothic. How, yeah. Bold, how did you find that name? Yeah. Did you like send a picture and then ask it. people or something or. There's a trend on TikTok where they, they even made a sound out of it. Oh, okay. Got yeah. it. So they well, were, that's when they're ripping on minimalist. Games. Yeah. No, they're ripping on minimalists. Yeah. Remember? Oh yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, uh, there's a subreddit that's called just like home decorating and uh -huh. you could post a picture of your house and say, what is my style? And Kelsey's always wondered that because it's just a, a just a ton, uh, just a ton of stuff. And she just has like, she can't nail it down. And so I was just like, help, help out my wife. Please let me know what kind of style is our house. And everyone said, grandmother. Uh, uh, they, vibe, said, they said grandmother, yeah. modern, like, and, but all, a lot of it was just like uh, plants and mirrors. Like, uh, I, I don't know what like to explain beside that. And just like, there's just a ton of plants and she loves mirrors. There's a like, there's like five mirrors on every wall in the house. Coastal so grandma is real. Coastal grandma, that's an aesthetic I That's wanna... so funny you mentioned that because I just saw a TikTok today that uh, pushed a podcast, I mean a playlist on Spotify that's called Coastal Grandmother. <laughs> and they say it's like the best like uh, playlist to play like when you're at home cooking and hanging yes. out with the family. I was like that. So that's so funny you say that. It's like the gap in like a big glass of Chardonnay. Yeah. Mm. That's what it is. And Diane Keaton. Diane mm. Keaton. Diane Keaton, Coastal Grandmother. It's wow. perfect. Yeah. Didn't you say you had a question for us? Yeah, I actually did. I thought I saw it on, uh, it was like a, one of those uh, man on the street questions on TikTok. And it was, what do you think is the biggest animal you could fight hand to hand combat with Ooh. and kill? <laughs> Yikes. What is the biggest animal? No oh. weapons at all. With my bare No hands. weapons. No weapons. Probably. Pregnant or not pregnant. <laughs> you. Whatever's optimal. Whatever gives you the most strength, because I don't know. <laughs> I think a deer. A deer? Yeah. That's pretty good, Dad. A male deer? It'd be hard. That'd be more difficult, but yeah. Really? A yeah. male deer? See, I need. I like. I almost need like a graph of like how big animal. Because like alligators, I can't. I can't beat. But no. they're also not the biggest animal. I feel like I could beat. Mm. Like I don't know. Like the, what? What are, what are some like big animals that aren't that strong? Like I could kill a giraffe. There's no, no you way you could kill Have a you giraffe. Seen them Are swing you their necks? Kidding me? Swing their necks? That's how they fight each other, dude. They literally go, <laughs> dude. Those, <laughs> those horns. <laughs> I'm just those gonna... horns are literally rock solid, and they'll swing those into the side. I'll see. I see nature documentaries, dude. There's it's terrifying. They leave holes in the body. Like it's nuts. I just don't think they're aggressive from the get go. No, you don't they, know. You, you don't would know be. Giraffes, you would Andrew. be. You would be aggressive from the get go. <laughs> no, no, no. I wouldn't be. I'd be like, here's a leaf. If you're, no, yeah, he's gonna go. You telling me a giraffe don't want to eat a leaf? It oh, will. He's full. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna put it? We gonna you gonna hold up the leaf and then wait till he comes down and then somehow get your Grab arms him. around and put that him in a gonna, headlock? It's gonna like flip you up. <laughs> nah, I got guy. it. I got Bro, it. their necks are like I that thick. <laughs> okay, think about it. Where like it's kind of like the joke about like a giraffe. If he had to wear a necktie, does he wear it up underneath his chin or at the bottom like <laughs> of his neck? Right. Where do you headlock a giraffe? Yeah. Where's the breathing? Like, where's the best place to like you? Because I'm sorry, but I'm like I'm testing it out up here, and then I'm I'm working my way up. Well, what do you Nothing what do you yet. think? Shim, shim, okay, shim, you don't. Shim, 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 shim. I'm, I'm I'm Mulan in this giraffe right now. He's got to come down to eat the leaf. Be a man of <laughs> yeah. like just choking out a giraffe. You can't it, it kill happen. a giraffe with your bare hands. I'm telling you that now. And then suddenly That's a, safari, a losing battle, my friend. A safari bus is just like in the distance. Just like, <laughs> is that a Filipino? We didn't specify <laughs> yeah, a giraffe in a headlock. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't specify where the creature has to be discovered. <laughs> Andrew's like killing a giraffe in the ocean. <laughs> Andrew's like one ticket to San Diego Zoo, please. <laughs> He's wearing like a full luchador. I costume. finally agree to go to Disney with Paige, the <laughs> Animal Kingdom. <laughs> Florida man kills giraffe in Animal Kingdom. That would that would be a story. For me, it's the type of animal that it is because I it is it. Are you saying? Strength alone, or does Just there size. is there a mental component? You're, to you're you're in a room. You're dropped in a room. Yeah. With that animal, 
And you have to kill it with your bare hands. I'll die of uh, fear if it's a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so the chicken's going to kill you. <laughs> the chicken would eat chicken. <laughs> Um, I could probably do, I don't want anything with claws. Okay. I'll I'm probably, trying to, like, what's, a, what's an animal that's our uh, human size? I'll do a penguin. Jeez. Ooh, a penguin would be good. <laughs> Those are scary. You could easily kill a penguin, though. All birds scary. I feel They're not like, very well, agile. I feel like you could easily push sure. over a penguin. You I can, feel like you wouldn't even have to do anything. You, you just can, push it over, and it's like you're done. Now. <laughs> We're done with this, right? Get up! <laughs> you can't. It's really hard for you to get up. <laughs> Wait till I get up. One, two, three. No. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah, that was my question. I was just curious because I was like, I don't, I because people were saying like a black bear. I'm like, there's no way. No, no. Who any, are you? Any, any type of bear, no. you're not, you're not killing. No, no. you're not killing. Bear chimpanzees are like our size, and there's no way. There's no yeah. way. Oh my, my gosh. My dad has a story when he was in, um, he was in grade school, like first grade or something. They brought in a chimpanzee, like a baby chin, chimpanzee, to yep. the class, and oh, nightmare. He said they gave it a tennis ball, and it just went. Dude, <gasps> it's just a baby chimpanzee. They're insane. It's nuts. What was it in Nope? Was that a chimp? That was a don't, chimp. Don't ruin anything. Don't yeah, spoil it. Oh, anything. okay. I yeah. won't. <laughs> Even though it's it, been out for like three months. It was so good. So good. I can't wait to it see it. Really so weird, but yeah. really good. Yeah. See, chimpanzees are just frightening. Yeah. We were watching yeah. uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes while we were working yesterday, and it's just... It is truly terrifying how strong they are. Yeah, I mean, like Joe Rogan literally said, he's like, "You they, like an orangutan could pull you apart like a to- piece of toilet paper." Oh my yeah. gosh! Instantly, like Nightmare. it's yeah, it's terrifying. And Joe Rogan, we know you're watching this. 100. Um, if you ever want to be on our pa- podcast, podcast, we'll um, try to squeeze you in. Yeah, we'll try. We have a pretty tight schedule. We have a lot of guests coming through. Actually, let's just say we uh, we we probably we appreciate your interest. We probably just can't do it. <laughs> Let's just go on. Let's just say we're not going to bring on. But just Rogan. reach out to us. Yeah. We'll you see. Can. You can if you want, but. Yeah. Yeah, we're busy. Um, you get to come here, though. We're not going to you. Yeah, we're not going yeah. to Texas. <laughs> what, what's good in Texas? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, right, Andrew? Yeah. He gets it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have a question now. My oh, turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm kidding about Texas. Don't kill me. What's up? <laughs> um, When's the last time you cried? Why do you have to bring oh, this up? <laughs> she, this Did is you just, cry last night? No, listen. No. <laughs> Like anytime I'm vulnerable, I'm so excited right now. Lily directs a question yeah. to expose my vulnerability. Good, good. Like we She's did finding your my, weakness. She did it with my siblings the other night when they came over and we had like burgers and stuff. She's like, "Hey guys, <laughs> when's the last time you cried?" <laughs> and I'm like. Okay, this is where it's going. And then she's like, "Josh, did I?" And they're like, "Oh." <laughs> You're so strategic on like you can't <laughs> bring really. it up. You can't bring it up whenever he's like it's just you two. It's like in his most vulnerable settings, in front of his siblings, in front of the whole entire world, <laughs> in front so of all Norway. <laughs> <laughs> in front of Norway, Lily, really? <laughs> yeah, that's um. I I cried. Uh, I cried this week. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember the day, but in the past seven days, for sure. Was it? I'm an emotional movie? guy. Was it? Like something emotional, like personally, or did you it was old movie? videos. We were reminiscing on old videos, and I just oh. miss my little. I just, I just love my little girl so much, and it's just hard to see them so small. And because, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate it because you hate this phrase, but I'm gonna make everyone else feel sad. It's, <laughs> cool. uh, it's the whole, it's the saying that I heard is that when your kids are growing up, each phase that they grow out of is like saying goodbye to a kid, you're a person that you're never gonna see again. <laughs> so sad because they're different. Each, each six months. You have a different kid. It's true. It is very sad. And so like, by the time the by the time you're eight or they're eighteen, your kids are eighteen. You've already spent like ninety three percent or something. Yeah, something like yeah, seventy five to ninety percent or something like that of all the time you're going to spend with them in your life. Yeah, for for people who live like in a different town than their parents, if you think about how often you go back to see your family and the average expectancy like of someone's life, a year. it's like yeah. you, you probably have maybe like eight to ten more times you're actually going to see your parents. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, love think, that. like uh, I have. Ten more summers. I have ten more summers with my oldest until she's in out of high school. Are you gonna cry right now? If I keep thinking about it, yeah, probably. <laughs> Literally, just so, like, make people cry. I know. What, what was what, what happened with you though? What, what was the what, what made you cry? We were watching uh, Father of the Bride. Have you seen that with Steve, Steve Martin. Martin? I haven't seen it though, but yeah, and, I've, um, I've heard it's one of those ones that'll wreck you. She's getting married, and they're at the dinner table talking, and he's staring at her. Oh! And all of a sudden, he's envisioning her as a little girl, like talking to her. At, talking to him at the dinner table and i lost dude it. yeah and i was like i don't want ada to grow up <laughs> dude wait till you start watching um bluey 
because Bluey is set. Like I used to like, I'm like, whatever Bluey. And I started watching it and they have every single episode ties into just that love that you have for your kid. Oh. And there's one episode, I think it's called road trip. When they go to their grandpa's, uh, the, the parents take go to the kids to the grandpa and everything like that. And the grandpa's running around with the kids and the mom's trying to catch up with the grandpa and the kids. And they're just like running ha- around just playing. And uh, they end up at the dock at the end of the episode. And she, he's sitting next to his full grown daughter. And she says, Oh, it seems like uh, just yesterday when we were here so, oh. like, so long ago. And he's like, no, it was just yesterday. And then they pan over and it's, her as a little kid on the dock oh next my. to him. And I was like, oh, yeah. man. Are you crying right now? Bluey. I just, I, it's just, it just stinks, man. It's so tough, man. It's And that's the thing. That's that's what's the motivation is like going home and just yeah. giving it your all in that moment. Oh. It's the, it's. Yeah, it's, man. Put your phone down. Yep. Turn off the TV. Just. And just hug your kid. It's the best. It, like just be able to <laughs> tune your, tune, be able to tune out your mind and just like become a kid with them. Yeah. Is. It's such an important thing. Thanks, Lily. <laughs> Are you crying? I'm about to. <laughs> I'm so, that makes me so sad. <laughs> Remember, kids oh. spell love T I M E. That's Aww. all I want to say. That's how you spend love. That's that's how they spell it. They're dumb. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, that's you spell love L O V E, you idiot. No, I'm kidding. I'm dumb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we're talking, I'm worried because you said this to me, Josh, the other day. You were like, why are you breathing so hard? <laughs> When I was just walking around, I'm worried that I'm breathing <laughs> really hard into the microphone. Yeah, no, it's, you're it's I thought you were talking about like just so walking pregnant. around the house. You're just like, why are you breathing? No, that's so what I was. Yeah, he we're, was like, we're oh. walking, no, we were walking down the street, and she's like, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I said, do you want to turn around? She's like, yeah, why? I'm like, uh, because it sounds like you're about to pass out. <laughs> I had no idea I was breathing so hard. She's carrying a human in your She was like, I still stomach. got a month and a half of this. You got to be kidding me. Oh man. Um. Speaking of a month and a half, let's cut to a commercial <laughs> ad. Is it a commercial or an ad? Uh, it's Both. a um, it's a promotion. Oh, don't go anywhere! Whoa! Uh. Ho ho ho! Santa? No, it's me, Sunday Cool, <gasps> and I come bearing gifts. Wow, just like Santa, almost. I'm Father Sunday Cool. <laughs> I don't know where else to go with that. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, Sunday Cool, we have our own line of fleece wear. Santa you, Santa, you sound so cool right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're a hip Santa. Yeah. That's cool. What uh, else does Sunday Cool have? Fleece wear. Crew necks. All super soft. All awesome. And, guys, Black Friday coming up. What, 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 what? Next week. Next week. Wow. Next week, Black, Black Friday is coming out, and we're doing a sale on Cool Carl. Really cool stuff. We're coming out with some new stuff that we're dropping on Black Friday, and we're doing volunteer bundle gifts for those at church who want to buy gifts for their volunteers and stuff. You're kidding. Boom. All there on CoolCarl.com. Ho, ho, ho. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> That was scary. Santa, oh, oh. Santa's really passionate about this ad. He ad. Could, yeah, that was really cool of him. Yeah, yeah. Ad over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for showing up, Santa. <laughs> oh man. Speaking of crying, mm. let me tell you this little story of something big. What? A black hole. Ooh. A black hole in space. Are we going back to uh, episode one? Sure. Yeah. Kind of like the CERN stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this has this is not a conspiracy. This is scary. Is it? Kind of. Okay. Uh-oh. It just it challenges your brain. So I saw this video recently of so in 2018, scientists discovered a black hole. Really, really far. Like, I, I want to say it was like 16 million light years away. Something crazy. Whoa. Super far from us. But it was, it was, they're watching it literally swallow a star. Oof. It was sucking a star in. Did it move or the star move? The star was getting sucked into this black, like, so it was just like light streams going into this black hole. And where is it going? Listen to this. <laughs> what they thought they knew of black holes, well, they don't know a lot, but it's just like, Stuff gets sucked into it because it's just this mad force of gravitational pull that just sucks everything in. Yeah. But this year, it was so it was three years after they discovered this. This year, they looked at the same black hole 
and it was spitting the star back out. <gasps> like, so light and stuff was coming out of this black hole. Just, like, so it was, like, regurgitating this star. Just but recycling like, bro- it. Like, broken apart, though. So it's like, what's on the other side of that black hole? It was bro- The star was broken? <clears throat> yeah. Well, I thought a star was just a ball of gas. It is. It but, chewed him. But light and stuff was coming out of it. Like, so it was like it sucked the star in with the light, like the fire, all that, whatever a star is, and it was spitting it straight back out That's three terrifying. years later. Yeah. So that made me question well, a lot of things. This is, do you remember listening to what a black hole sounds like when they, oh, they dropped yeah. it this year? I've actually never heard this. Dude, that sounds like the underworld. That's, that's what terrifying. a black hole. That's what a black hole sounds like. Oh my gosh! Isn't that, that the creepiest? <laughs> like that's what, that. that's what I'm going to sleep to tonight. Just <laughs> <laughs> there is a theory out there that there is potentially, which I don't believe in this, but there's that there's universes. It, they're like the whole parallel universe kind of thing, but yeah. there's like universes on the other side of a black hole. Uh huh. So like we live in this universe, but there could be another universe through a black hole. They're saying the mass of these black holes. It's potential that you could argue this universe that we're living in now exists in a black hole in another universe the size of a quarter. Whoa. Size of a quarter, this universe that we're in. That's dumb. Like, that's crazy. Like, because imagine if, like, we ever did truly make contact with another planet that also thought they were alone. Like, there could be another duplicate version of the Earth or something Maybe. out there. Who knows? I mean, it's very unlikely. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't I don't. know. I have no idea. That's terrifying. Yeah, I've know. also wondered, because, like, like, you're taught, I feel like, just, like, the basic, basic Christian theology is just, like, angels, demons, humans, yep. God. But it's, like, there's all these heavenly creatures, like cherubim, yeah. seraphim. Mm-hmm. That's all I can list right now. <laughs> <laughs> another but, thumb. Like, but, like, is it possible that some of these heavenly creatures are, in fact, living on different planets or different in different parts of the universe? Yeah. Yeah, I don't well, know. It's like, it's like you go to the passage where the demons possess the pigs. We know that they drown them, but that we know that they weren't sent to the abyss. So they may still exist possessing something. Yeah. Or Freaky. roaming for the next thing to possess. And we're raised to believe that this is it. Yeah. Like, this is the only... So, we do, really don't know. Yeah. We've just been taught to understand what we, we can observe. Yeah. And what we can observe is no other life outside of this earth. But we don't know that. Mm-hmm. Just because we don't know doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And so, yeah. that's that's the scary part. So, if like, that's the type of things that, like, uh, you stay up all night, and if you don't stop thinking about it, you will become one of those people... <laughs> yeah that do live in the basement yeah. that do have the red strings all across their house. And it's like, cause you have to shut your brain off. Cause if you don't, if you don't, it is an impossible black hole to fall yeah. into. Yeah. 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 I have a question. Mm, full circle. Yeah. <laughs> if you, you know how you always heard when you were a kid, if you fart and burp at the same time, your head will explode. I've nope. never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard that. If you fart and burp at the same time, your head will explode. Yeah. I've well, done that multiple times. And no, I'm still here. you haven't. Yes. Not I at have. the same minute. Burping and farting at the same at the same time. Yes, you I can have. release gas from both ends at the same time. You just yeah. wait and see. Anywho, do you think that if you met your your other dimensional counterpart and you looked at them, your head would explode? Mm, your maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, that would that would cause me to start crying. <laughs> that would be weird, though, man. That would like, be so weird. Just like, yeah, I mean, I don't think I'll ever meet Zac Efron in person. <laughs> I mean, that could be. That would be cool, though. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I once got compared to Zac Efron when I was, like, in high school, and I was like, I'm going to ride on that, like, compliment for the rest of my life. <laughs> but they, they were, like, the screwed up Zac Efron, the one, like, oh. like post, you know. Like the big jaw. jaw surgery. Big jaw, Zac. <laughs> yeah. Turn off the lights a little bit. <laughs> kind of, I guess. I mean, the eyebrows, maybe, but. Oh, man. Yeah, um, that's. Uh, my grandpa always told me that burps are just farts that took the elevator. <laughs> so, so when you good. burp and fart, are you just farting at the same time, just on yeah. different ends? Maybe I don't nice. know. Who knows? Um, speaking of burping and farting, <laughs> I want everyone to hear. Oh, geez, your most embarrassing story. Yeah, my yeah. So we talked about one day 
it was probably maybe one of Lily's questions of like, what's your most embarrassing story? Andy, like everyone kind of like gave their little embarrassing story. Um, but Andy just took the cake <laughs> with embarrassing yeah. stories. Yeah. So very go. I'm very glad I could do that. Yeah. Um, so let, let set it up. Go yeah. for it. Yeah. So it was my very, the, the most embarrassing, uh, the stars aligned to be the most embarrassing or the greatest day of your life, right? Is when you first start at a new school, it's yeah. the first day at a new school. And I was so excited. I was ready to go. And I found out PE was my first period, my first class. Score. And that's always the best. Yeah. Kind of not really though. It's because you're sweaty. The rest because you're of the sweaty day. for the rest of the day. As a kid, the, as a kid you don't care, yeah, right? Yeah. As a kid. So it was, it was uh, fifth grade. So you're the king of elementary school at that point, right? You have to make impressions. So I show up and we're having fun. We have to take off our shoes because it's, you know, the gym floor and everything like that. We're running around. There's hula hoops. There's rolling carts. There's basketballs, frisbees, everything. I grab a basketball and I start playing around. And I start shooting hoops. Don't know anybody yet, but I'm still trying to be that guy. I turn around and the next thing I see is a frisbee being thrown directly at my face. Directly. Hits me square in the nose right there. Instantly. Niagara Falls of bloody nose. Ugh. Everywhere. Who threw Cannot the frisbee? Stop. A man. Kid. A kid, basically. He's a man now. A kid named Channing. Last name. You're not going to do it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> but he's a good guy. Uh, but I, I, I still don't like him at all. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just because of this reason. But Channing picks up this frisbee, throws it as hard as he can at nothing except for my face. Throws <laughs> it directly at my face. Blood comes down, covers my shirt, my uh, uh, my socks, my shorts, everything. Oh, no. Ruins my outfit. And it's the first day of school. You know how important the first day of school of clothes are? Yeah. And I ruined it. And so, Miss, uh, I think her name was Miss Kepley, our PE teacher. You know, she was like five foot tall and she was jacked, right? And she came <laughs> over and she ran over to me and, you know, she felt so bad because it was my first day and everyone got dismissed, everyone off the court and they left. She takes me back and said, you know, they fix my nose and everything, make it stop bleeding. And they say, okay, well, you can't go back to class in these clothes. So let's call your parents. They call the parents and the parents say, He's fine. We'll pick him up at the end of the day. Come on, mom. <laughs> and I was like, cool. And so they're like, well, let's just go to look in the lost and found and see if we can find any clothes. We go to the lost and found, and the only pair of uh, shorts or anything that could fit me are neon green pink, I mean, neon green shorty shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Elastic ones, if like they like, they look like that those old cheap like you know that white and yeah, like, Sophie, yeah, yeah. yeah yes Sophie those shorts. Yeah, terrible. So put those on, and it's already a nightmare because I'm having to go to the bathroom, have to change, and like this woman's having to dress me. It's just <laughs> such a weird thing. And then I uh, go in there, and the only shirt, only thing that I can put on over my body. Is they also a neon? Apparently, there was a neon theme today in Lost and Found. <laughs> it was a neon pink dress. Oh gosh! There were no school shirts that they had available. How do you lose that? I, <laughs> I was like, you have a basketball jersey or something I can wear. Yeah. I had to wear the dress, and it wasn't like one of those like long flowy dresses. It was. You could tell it was a girl dress though, and it's also pink. And neat. So like, I was trying to like justify it right now, but it had the straps, everything. Oh, it showed too much of my chest. It, <laughs> you couldn't even see the shorts. You couldn't see the shorts. <laughs> and so I'm just humiliated at this point, and it, it's just driving me nuts. And so I'm just, I'm like, but you know what? Second period, she dismisses me. She says, "Go ahead." You know, the class already left because it's you know past the time. I said, "Okay." So I walk into the gym to put on my shoes. I'm barefoot at this point because they took my socks away because they were covered in blood. I look at the <laughs> I, I look at the stands where my shoes are, they are no longer at. Because Mr. Channing thought the frisbee he, he thrower. Yeah, the, the frisbee assassin <laughs> was so kind and thought he would be so nice to me. He grabbed my shoes and take them to class so I wouldn't forget them. Right? Not a big deal. Just walk to class, right? And so that's what I started to do. But what I didn't realize, because it was my first day, the second class is in another building a block away. So you have to walk on a sidewalk outside, uh, like a block or two, to go to the building with the classrooms in it. So Ms. Kep Kepley says, you can't walk there by yourself without shoes. Oh. So there she, there she goes, bending down, 
asking for me to hop on her back piggyback <laughs> style. <laughs> so she calls oh me gosh. over and I hop on there and I'm just I'm just dying at this moment. I'm just thinking like I'm like, how can I feel this much embarrassment on my first day? She picks me up, and I don't know why we didn't wait till we were outside to do the piggyback. Like, we were walking through <laughs> the building we were already in unnecessarily. Oh, my gosh. And we walk through, and we're walking We're walking past normal residence, residences, people's houses. And we're walking, and we have to walk past the building with all of the windows to the fifth grade, fourth grade, third grade, second grade, first grade classes. All of them can see me in a pink dress in my little neon green booty hanging out while I'm getting oh. piggybacked from Miss Five Foot Kepley. And so <laughs> she drops me off in the classroom. I was like, I can walk I can, I can walk from I can walk from here. Like down the hallway. She's like, no, no, we gotta get your classroom. We gotta get your shoes. She drops me off inside the classroom. I can't even remember how she opened the door, but it couldn't have been easy. And it was just super awkward, swings me in, and the whole cra class is just looking at me. Oh. Some of them are giggling, and I was like, this is it. I'm done. This is the worst day of my life. And still to this day, I don't think I've ever been more yeah. filled with embarrassment because during recess, I'm on the side, try I'm trying to play soccer. Can't happen in a dress. You can't play <laughs> soccer in a dress as a fifth grader. <laughs> And so it was just it was just a terrible, there's, terrible there's moment. There's no way I would have gone to class. Yeah, dressed I like didn't that. like. I had no option. I was like, can I run away? That was <laughs> yeah. that? Be like, but the like, police gotta, would gotta easily go. spot me. They're like, oh, that guy in the neon dress, five miles away. I from would here, rather go to. See. I would rather. I'd say, officer, take me to jail, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'd who, rather go to jail than go to a classroom dressed like this. Who do I have to stab for you to arrest me right now? <laughs> <laughs> just say I have a bomb. <laughs> just I'll oh, say geez. whatever I have to do. Please just get me out of this situation, please. <laughs> How tall were you in fifth grade? Oh, I was. I mean, I, I'm short now. I was short then too. You are now, short like, now. Yeah, oh. But I'm taller than you. So how short does that make you? You know. I'm just trying it to was, picture. No. Like Dude, it was. Yeah, it was awful. I mean, I was like, I was like the athletic one, like yeah, in yeah. school. So like, I was like, but like, I don't, I wasn't tall. But but know? like being a four foot ten, a five foot. You're probably grader. closer to your height. The yeah, that's, yeah, that's, I, I was. Yeah, so like it was like I was like I can also give you a piggyback if you want later. I, she's like, try. <laughs> <She's just, laughs> like you couldn't see her face. She's just struggling to carry you down the sidewalk. <laughs> now, now, now the thing is, if there is one person in the world that could literally pass out a giraffe in a headlock, it would be Miss Kepley. Nice. I, I, I will, I will circle back to that. That is the only person, without a shadow of a doubt, that could right. knock out a giraffe. Shout nice. out, Miss Kepley. Yeah. All right, Lily, I want to hear your embarrassing story because well, I don't know it. Now it's weird formatted because I thought we were all going to present one. We could. I Josh don't, I don't, Josh I'm trying think to think of one. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not, I mean, Andy's. I've never, am I like out of focus? You're just like leaning back and it's, it's like your like face is not in the oh, okay. video at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, pregnant. <You're> just like <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. Um, yeah, it's nothing like Andy's. No, oh, that's that's, that's okay. all right. That's all right. That's good for we you. Should, we good for you. Your, we should have done yours last, honestly. <laughs> but I was trying to think of like those moments that you have just the deepest shame, you know, that you reflect on at nighttime, and you're like, Ugh. yeah. Um, and I think about it takes me back to those middle school. It was probably early high school days, you know, where you're you're blooming, mm. and I loved that season of my life because all of those teeny bot movies were getting really big. It was a really great season for teeny Twilight, Twilight, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, John Green got big, Shrek, Ultimate Stars, Shrek, <laughs> <laughs> classic <laughs> romance film. Anyway, my coming of age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my girlfriend get out of my swamp. <laughs> I so I didn't do, you, do, do your donkey impression. Shrek, <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead. It's so good. Thanks. But we would go to the movie theater and stuff all together. And um, like the midnight showing, like I remember the last Harry Potter movie, midnight showing. And I would, it was all those emotions, those hormones running deep. You know, you're in bloom. And I would cry so hard in these movies that I was sweating and I would, so much more than a regular cry. Yeah, audible. That's like a workout sobs. cry. Yeah, audible sobs, wounded animal <laughs> sobs. <laughs> she legit is just doing push ups and crying. <laughs> <laughs> would come out of me to where it was so loud, it was interrupting the movie experience for everybody. I had to leave. Oh my goodness. That's I, that's not like a regular. No. You that's have, not what they expected. That's crazy. Wounded, what movie was it? There was a couple times it happened. <laughs> You had like yeah. you had to leave, or you were asked to leave. I had to leave okay. on my own volition, but it was recommended to me. By, um, by who? 
my girlfriends and stuff like get out of here dude you're insane so it was like mostly like the fault in our stars yeah. um what was that movie where they get in a car accident she's a musician a, a cellist oh shrek 2 <laughs> oh that is shrek 2 yeah 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 and the last harry potter the last harry potter uh, i cried so hard i do you know i saw the last harry potter before i ever saw any <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's scary all the time. <laughs> oh, You're talking. <laughs> um, God, you were here. I saw the last Harry Potter before I saw any of the Harry Potters. What? Yeah. Oh man, that would ruin it because it was with my ex. Oh, sorry. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But she's like, she's like, me she's and my nice family are going to go. We see wish the you all last- the best, but boo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's like, me and my family were all going to go see the last Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I, I've never was interested in Harry Potter that much. One, because I wasn't really allowed to watch it. Um. So I was just lost, but I was like laughing at the parts that everyone else was crying at <laughs> or like, really? Yeah, because all... you have no emotional attachment. Yeah. Like when Dobby dies and stuff, yeah. now it makes me sad. Yeah. But then I'm just like, who is this guy? Yeah, when and he's like, says, Harry Potter. Where's the character development? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Harry Potter is a friend. <laughs> um, have you what, seen that? what does he that was, say when he dies? Good. He says, Such Harry a- Potter. That's, wait, I don't know. Oh, it's such a nice day to be with friends. Uh, such it's, a nice place, right? Oh, yeah, 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 true. It's such a nice place to be with friends. <laughs> but his eyes are like, hey, you got a sock? <laughs> That's my impression of Dobby. I hey, am a sock this around here. to Dobby with a sock. Can someone explain to me? Dobby <laughs> is free. Your Dobby impression is one of my favorites. <laughs> why, why does he still wear like the... The garb once he's a free elf. Oh, I think I that's know. his his style, man. They didn't. Yeah, they they. they it's they like are, Shia LaBeouf. He's super rich, probably, and he still wears like. Yeah, you seen Conway West? Thrift, I mean, Kanye thrift, West recently. Yeah. He's wearing like mud boots around. Dobby's literally just, in the LA. Dobby's just come like, week. Hey, yo, check out my garb. <laughs> yeah. and and uh, Mr. Malfoy is like, hey, we have like like we'd prefer you to wear like a suit or something because you're like you're kind of like our servant, like look presentable. And he was like, not today, Junior. <laughs> Is that Dobby? Yeah, yeah. No, it's today, Junior. <laughs> say, I, wa- I want you to say, well, look, I'm going to look up some famous, I want you to say yeah, yeah, Do- yeah, yeah, yeah. in Dobby's voice some of the most famous movie lines, okay? Don't do long ones because no, I can't quick. hold an accent for very yeah, no, long. No, you're good, you're good. But during the theater, the part where Voldemort's like shooting the thing and like his wand starts cracking and goes, <laughs> I lost it you know like the funeral, the funeral laugh, laugh yeah where like everyone's like silent and they're like oh, i'm just i'm crying laughing <laughs> and everyone's getting so mad at me great all right pick some pick some of those i want you to read those in dobby's voice see if people can recognize them mm. go for it don't i'll be back <laughs> dobby is terminator you're going to need a bigger boat <laughs> <laughs> wait what is that that's jaws oh um Wow. Hold on. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining Dobby in every single know, scenario. Is like Dobby, Dobby with an astronaut's helmet? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> <laughs> a martini. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> I'm starting to lose it now. Yeah, you're good. That um, was perfect. That was great. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I, my embarrassing story is short, and it's recent, and you were there for it. Which one? Um, it was when we were at that youth camp in Montana, and we were up oh, on stage. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, me and Andy got invited out to speak at a youth camp. Um, Glacier just, Bible Camp, Hungry Horse. Woo! Most embarrassing story I can think of was there, <laughs> so shout out. Um, but we were, we didn't plan anything and like, we were supposed to br- like present the rules of the camp. So they yep. gave us a list of rules and like, um, like don't steal blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, and so right Andy's like rules. reading the rules and I'm being like, unless this yeah. as Carl. And, um, the one rule was be nice to everyone. That's what you said. That's what I said. So they, said no, hey, number one rule guys, be nice to everyone. And then you said, just winged it. And I said, <laughs> unless they're racist. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true, it's kind true. of. And dead silent. <laughs> and in fact, there was a. <gasps> <laughs> there was an audible gasp. Yeah. And I just wanted to oh my just gosh. go it inside was... of myself and die. And at that point, I was like, next rule. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. It was yeah. like, I mean, you should be nice to everyone. But the whole joke was like, if there are racists, racist, yeah. maybe. 
don't be nice to them. I don't know. <laughs> like it was a joke. Yeah, it was a but joke. But it just it did it not bom- land. It bombed hard. <laughs> oh, but then you the thing that made me so angry was you followed up by saying like you're gonna shoot everyone in the face or something. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Andy said something like, like, blah, 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 blah. He's like, laugh or I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> and then everyone's like, <laughs> I'm oh, like, again. And I just said that racist people are mean and maybe you shouldn't be nice to him. He threatened to shoot you. And you think that's hilarious. No, I, I, I think it was, don't shoot me. Because I said something and I said, I forgot we're in Montana. Please don't shoot me. Oh. And so the- <laughs> no, it was something you threatened them somehow. I remember that because it was yeah, so probably. intense. Because yeah, I, I went, oh, personally, because I'm like, that was a little intense. Yeah. But I was like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> but Carl over here. Too far. Is saying racist people are not very nice. And maybe you shouldn't be nice to them. <laughs> That's not funny. Over the line. Let's make them even more uncomfortable on stage. <laughs> They were so excited about that shout out when we first said it. And now they're going like, I, yeah, I hope all of you remember that and how <laughs> uncomfortable you made me. We, we do love you guys though. Yeah. So yeah. We can come back. Yeah. yeah. I want to capitalize on this yelling. Yeah. To Go ask ahead. you guys to do your best. There will be blood. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Daniel Day Lewis. So one thing that me and Andy love to do is impersonations and accents and be loud. And be loud. <laughs> yeah. um, a lot of people in the office are very confused and by un- this and, room. And, and underappreciative of yeah. what we do in here. Yeah. <laughs> we um, make noise for their amusement. Yeah. The um, This lady that started a couple months ago, <laughs> one of our executives, Julie. Yeah. She's the best. She Shout out Julie. She is awesome. Julie. <laughs> she is our controller. We know she's that's watching. Good. I don't know anyone's position. Here, so that's, <laughs> I'm just also, like, hey, control, the, the, you're in that room. The room. title controller just seems more confusing than anything. <laughs> yeah, me, yeah. Just like, me too. This yeah. is like, just say employee at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Accountant. Controller, you control. You control. Minds? <laughs> what? What am I thinking right now? <laughs> Sunday cool hypnotist. And she's like, can you just please turn in your receipts? <laughs> That's literally what I was. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did you know? Can you please get out of my house and um, turn in your receipts, please? But she, she came in here a couple weeks ago. And she's like, you guys have to let us know whether or not you're really fighting or arguing in here yeah. or if it's all just a little bit or whatever. Yeah. And it's oh, more said, we're t- it's typically a bit. That's true. Typ- <laughs> typically. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a like an actual fight where we've yelled or anything. So I think it's all yeah. the time it's a bit. Yeah. Um, but so, a toxic work environment. Yeah. <laughs> so Lily has just issued us the challenge of there will be blood with... The classic scene. With what's his face? Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel amazing Day-Lewis. actor. Yes. That scene where he says, I've abandoned my boy. I've abandoned my son. I've child. abandoned my child. Child. Yes. Wait, not son. I've abandoned my boy. Okay, yeah. All right, so this oh, wait, is a contest. Which, what does he say first? Which one does we have to get it right? I've abandoned my child. That's what he says first. That's what he says first. And I then know he says it. boy after. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. No, son. He says, I abandoned my child, I abandoned my child, I abandoned my boy. Okay. So you want to go? Oh, geez, do I? Set the, set the okay. scene. All right, okay. He's getting, Breathing exercises. He's getting slapped by the preacher guy. Maybe you the should preacher's, smack him. The preacher is... Well, I'll be that the, I'll be that guy. The preacher is right, getting in my face, letting yeah. me, reminding me of how bad of a father I so am you, that I've abandoned, you've abandoned, I've abandoned your my child. child. I've abandoned my child. You've abandoned, abandoned your my, child. I've abandoned my child. You've abandoned your child. I've abandoned my child. <laughs> I've abandoned my child. Hit me, hit me. I've abandoned my boy. Wow. Was that good? I'm moved. Was that good? That was loud. That was so <laughs> loud. People are scared right now. That okay, was good. All right. Okay, all right. Smack him, Andy. Go, 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 go. Come on. No, do you do the do the whole thing Listen, where he's, you tell, he's say he's you've abandoned me. your child. Say you've I've been abandoned, abandoned my child. child. Say it again. <laughs> I've abandoned my child. Louder. I've abandoned my child. Louder. I've abandoned my child. Louder. I've abandoned my child. Again. I've abandoned my boy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Your face is red. I know. I was in it. Dude, My I'm heart's ready. racing. I'm ready for war right now. <laughs> I am too. I'm pumped. I'm like ready to go. Let's go put a giraffe in a headlock. Yeah. <laughs> Get up here. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm jacked. <laughs> Let's go do something. Yeah. Thanks for watching the show, guys. Yeah. Appreciate it. Lily, thank you. Do you want to like go race? Yeah. I just want to. Foot race in the yeah. parking lot? On your I, I want to look at Jaguar in its eyes and tell him you're not good enough. 
I'm going to kill you today, Jaguar. <laughs> I could so I'm pumped. pumped because I've abandoned my boy. Oh, my God. Thanks for watching the show. Love you. Love you. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that was gonna be, that's going to be such a good episode. <laughs> Ninjas are butterflies. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's <laughs> most beautiful Has an empty mind. You were martial arts! Fuck ninjas out there! That was oh so. I, I took off my headphones. I'm like, I was. We were both so loud right there. <laughs> People in the office are like, what the?